Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Got a vacuum cleaner video for you and a new thrift store find. This is the Fuller Mini Maid. Fuller Brush Company is actually a division of Tacconi Vacuum, so they make the high-end vacuums that you see at dealers like Ricard and Simplicity. This is one of their budget brands, Fuller Brush Co. Uh, it's just a rebrand of a few other vacuums that have like the similar platform. This is, it was five bucks at a thrift store and I just wanted to try out just a nice simple hand vac just to clean up crumbs around the kitchen for when the kids make a mess. So it is used. Uh, it seemed like it was in pretty good condition. Let's get it unboxed here. Comes with a really short hose. Here's the unit itself. Now these hand vacs, uh, it's, it's corded. It's got a pretty long cord here. Now it's not going to be as convenient as the new newest lithium ion batteries for quick cleanups, but I can see just keeping this in the closet or in a drawer in the kitchen for a quick cleanup. It's probably about a 20 foot cord or so, which is really nice. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Kind of smells like someone else's house, so it's definitely got to be cleaned out. Look for a future video in that where we take it apart and clean it. But it doesn't hold a lot of material. This is the reusable washable filter that it comes with. So you'll see it's got a post uh, pre-motor filter here just to collect whatever fine debris gets past the filter. It's not like a HEPA cartridge or anything like that. This is just a fabric filter, so the contents for the dirt, then it gets sucked in. There's this little flap so the dirt doesn't fall out, but you plug it in your hose here with your attachment, and this flap will open up when it turns on. The dust collects in here, and you just pop this open and shake this out in the garbage can for when you need to empty it. It does have quite a bit of suction for being so tiny. The capacity is not a lot, so a lot of things I've read online, they say, dump this out after every time you use it. It's not really designed for holding a lot. You'll see it's like maybe a cup of dirt. That's it. So not a lot. It's gonna lose suction pretty fast if you let it get stuffed full, so keep that in mind. Quick and easy to take apart, you just line up these two holes here. And it snaps together. Pretty lightweight, the thing probably weighs like, I don't know, two pounds maybe. It's got a little bit of heft to it. 600 watts, 120 volt. A couple of the attachments it comes with. It's got this little brush here. It's got an upholstery brush, a dusting brush, and a crevice tool with a removable tip here. So this is great for cleaning like keyboards and things like that, or like small electronics and things like that. So you could use this for cleaning your car, getting in cracks like that. You can plug your attachment directly into the top here or you can set it aside, plug the little two foot hose in, and just use it as a desktop cleaner like this. So you can clean it. I can see this being useful for cleaning up after the kids when they make crumbs on the couch or something. So I'll just, you know, scrub and vacuum. So that's pretty much all this is. It's a, uh, I think it retails for $40 on Amazon. So if you need a relatively inexpensive spot cleaning tool it's not going to replace like a full-size canister vac obviously it would be nice if it had a longer extension tube for maybe cleaning up floors or something but you can get down on your hands and knees and clean the floor if you want to but you know it's a it's a decent little cleaner for keeping in the drawer like i said just for expedient cleaning let's say someone spills something on the kitchen floor you just want to whoop, quick get it this is going to be great for that. So, you know, if you don't want to whip out a full-size vacuum twice a day with if you have kids in the house, I think this is going to be a pretty handy tool. So I'm going to take this thing apart. I'm going to put it in the tub. I'm going to clean all the filters out, scrub it down, make it smell nice, and hopefully get a little bit of the uh, cleaning power back as well. There is a post-motor filter on the inside here for the exhaust. It's got like a little mesh 
screen. I don't believe that is user replaceable or user cleanable, so everything's kind of screwed down. Anyway, just a quick video of a new thrift store vacuum find for you today. If you found this video interesting, useful, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Really appreciate it. Until next time, thanks for watching.